said the only fragrance that's not shelling that's not selling off the shelf the morning after fragrance they said they have not sold not one bottle of it all of it still in this place ladies and gentlemen the morning after fragrance well more girls lose their chance to get married than any other day in history the morning when that guy wakes up not in the club but in your bedroom and he's not interested anymore kind of day lady so I'm gonna tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this is what a lot of people need to do. A lot of daughters and a lot of girls that's in school doing things that their mom and daddy told them not to do, that they're doing that anyway. Wake up before your date does and get that done. I'm trying to tell you, powder up and freshen up and goddamn make it. You want to goddamn appear the way you did before you got in the car and went to the club. Nah, -uh, baby. If you want somebody to put a ring on it and, and take you through that threshold. You need to get up and freshen that ass up, man. I'm trying to tell you, lady. Please do, lady. But they said that's the number one factor of why girls can't find nobody. Because they dozed off during the morning after when they were supposed to be making sure that they didn't appear the way they really came out of their mama's belly. I'm trying to tell you. Because if anybody seen them looking like the way they did when they were born, they wouldn't be married to nobody. A lot of women, their best friend, no. Maybelline is your best friend. And Miss Clairol is your best friend. Those are your friends. And L'Oreal and Lori Laughlin is your friend. You hang on to Lori Laughlin like she's your husband. You put a ring on it. You know what I'm saying? You praise the ground she walks. You see what I'm saying? Because she loves you more than your husband ever going to love you. Because if he ever catches a glimpse of you without your makeup kit... He's going to walk out on you. And he's never coming back. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women, like, guess what, lady? You know, a lot of women, they're doing the wrong thing, lady. They're not doing the thing that the Lord intended them to do. You're supposed to be freshening up all the time to keep families together. You know what I'm saying? And teaching other girls how to stay fresh. Stay freshened up and never lose your focus. Because the day you lose your Ford focus, Ford won't be making any... Oh, my Lord! This must be back to the future. Or it won't be making cars anymore if you ever lose focus. You gotta stay focused. Never lose your way, never lose your vision, never lose your sight, ladies. Please, and always remember to stay fresh all the time. You can't get an emergency kit. Put that emergency kit right up under your bed. You know what I'm just in case you bring that illegal immigrant to your mama damn house when they on vacation. And you can freshen that thing up. Just in case that illegal immigrant is the only man that wants you. You know what I mean? He's the only one that wants you. Just like that lady said, that BG is fine. Well, you need to marry him then because nobody else don't want you. You know what I mean? You need to marry BG. You know what I mean? Because nobody else in their right mind don't want you. you know what I mean? That's it, lady. Very sad, but very true. And BJ will tell you, he don't want them but a couple of the strippers. He, he only wanted two of the uh, uh, back page girls. He don't want the rest of them. He got one to, to, to handle business under the table and one to handle business when they walk in the door. And that's enough for him. So BG can't be everybody girl or boyfriend. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I'm just telling you something to keep you married. You know, and... And you, you want to stay married. You don't want your husband to leave because he can't leave your ass. Especially if he knows who the one true God is. He can say, I divorce you three times and get rid of your ass and walk out and then never come back. So please, if you want to keep your marriage together, keep that thing fresh and smelling good all the time. You know what I'm saying? And don't never look the way you look when you came out your mama's stomach. You know what I'm saying? If you met your boyfriend with all that powder on your face, you need to keep that powder on your face. Don't never take it off. You know what I'm saying? Your husband don't need to see you how you came out your mama's belly. If he liked you the way you was with that foundation all over yourself. You see what I'm saying? You need to keep that foundation plenty of it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say this. The reason why you're with the guy you're with is because the way that you met him that first day. And if you ever lose your way, you won't be together no more. You know what I mean? He gonna find somebody else to be with you know I mean? that knows how to keep it fresh. You know I, mean? I tell you, a lot of times you come home, it ain't nothing but cussing and fussing and arguing going on. 
You know what I'm saying? Because you take your boss man, the fresh stuff, and you give your husband the hair rollers and all that bullshit. Rollers and robes and stuff like that and and calamine lotion and shit like that, lady. Your husband get tired of seeing that shit, man. Why can't you freshen up for your husband like you do for your big boss man? You see what I mean? Sad, but it's true, lady. The husband always get this, the hand-me-downs in the yard sale. You take your husband to the yard sale, you take your boss man out there to East Chase. You see what I'm saying? Why is that, man? You take your husband to the Roman cell. You know what I'm saying? You get him stuff for Father's Day, nobody don't want. Goddamn the store don't even want it no more. They got it on the clearance item. Just take it with you. And that's what you get your husband for Father's Day. So therefore, the woman that sees that father on Father's Day, that knows how to get stuff that, that has value to it, that end up being the next, uh, the next wife or the next woman in line, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, see, that was Tommy Tupperville. He said that he wanted to appeal that decision. That Tyson chicken is better than Sylvester. I don't care what they said. That I don't care what your hands can do. I don't care. Uh, your hands are not in good hands. That Sylvester chicken and Marsha chicken is not better than Tyson chicken. Well, never the case, lady. You know? I don't know what happened, but it did happen. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't wish nothing bad on nobody. I wish that they can stay. I hate to see children without their mom and daddy. You need to wake up with your mom and daddy there, you know what I'm saying? Because when your child start learning everybody name except your name, they know every other every other baby daddy middle name and last name, and they forget how to spell their real daddy name. You know, that means that your hands that you're not in good hands. That that your state is Coronado State. You know what I mean? And you hate to see those baby mamas raising those boys. Very sad, but very true. Are like you out there in those big trucks and, and riding around in Shaquille O'Neal's lap? You know what I'm saying? And that baby's out there by themselves. You know what I mean? Sad, but it's true, lady. Man. You hate to see that, lady. You know what I mean? Yo, baby daddy out there got all those rims and car. Boom, 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 boom. And your baby don't even got a bicycle. You know, your baby don't even got a bicycle. Don't even got a lunchbox. But they daddy driving around in a boom, 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 boom. boom. You know what I'm saying? He driving around in a locomotive, lady. You know? He got more gadgets and toys than any child could ever want. They child can't even find the lunchbox, lady. You know? Got brothers on every corner. Where's my light-skinned daddy? Where's my white daddy? And he can't find him. too many brothers. Everywhere it turns, another brother smoking a, smoking a blunt and throwing the swisher sweet guts on the ground. You see what I'm saying? Things like that, lady. <laughs> Very sad. Same thing uh, happened to Patrick Mahomes, you know. That those, those people, they said they don't know what happened to Patrick Mahomes. He, he lost his way a long time ago. He lost his way a long time ago, and they, sometimes they do evaluations on him. They say, that motherfucker, you know, they, they have some of the darnest things to say about Pat Mahomes. That motherfucker's a goner, and that he is, man. You don't know, can't find his compass. He can't find his, his Google map. He can't find nothing. He don't know where anything is. His mama and them, I always have to ride behind him and say, Pat, you're going the wrong way. And, they, and now it's going on about 40 years that Pat's been going the wrong way. That his mama and dad and them and his children, even his children ride behind him and say, Dad, you're going the wrong way. You know what I mean? And I said, he still don't really understand. Even if Antonio Brown goes the wrong way, they still don't think they're going the wrong way, lady. They still think they're doing the right thing. I don't understand it. What part don't you understand when the NFL say, pack your shit and don't come back, but though their followers still think that they're in the league? I don't know. They still think that they're in the league, and they file grievances just like they fill out applications for debit cards and credit cards with somebody else's name. They think they're really finna get a debit card with money on it. You know what I'm saying? They really do. Paula Abdul, Tony Brown, Patrick Mahone, they think that something's coming in the mail with – NFL money on it. 
you know, with their name on it. But it's not. Man. And you know what? By the time they finally get that letter that's not coming, they just smoke your money up, they money up, they mama money, they roommates money. Everybody's money has been smoked up. They smoked it up. I'm talking about I'm talking about they've consumed smoke, just like that church. They went down to that PTI paper uh, international, and they smoked up everybody's paper, like, you know. And by the time they, they find out that they're not going to be getting them, they're going to realize that they paid for it, that they're not going to be getting their retirement that they should have been getting. And the money that they should have been getting, they spent it replacing the paper that they smoked, that they thought that they smoked. You know what I mean? You know what I mean?